quicksand. You should be more careful, Mr. Greedy. <laughs> Other 
gods and it's called the Kukul Khan. Everybody say Kukul Khan. Kukul Khan. One more time, say Kukul Khan. Kukul Khan. Okay, group two, say Kukul Khan. Group three. Kukul Khan. Say. One more time. One more time. Make your voice out. Voice. Say. Kukul Khan. Who is one with you today? You show me you are so noisy. All right, everybody say Kuku Khan. Kuku Khan. Very good, okay. So, Kuku Khan is also a god, all right? And it's, yeah, in Mexico, they call Kuku Khan the Quetzalcoatl, okay? So they are the same gods. So you can see here, it's a part bird and a part snake. That's Kuku Khan, the god of Aztec myth. You got it? Yes. All right. Okay, so what about this? Do you know where this is? Huh? Yes, ma'am? It's in uh, Mexico. It's in Mexico. Do you know what this is called? It's a sun pyramid. Is it a sun it's pyramid? pyramid? It's the pyramid of the sun. Okay, well, the sun pyramid or the pyramid of the sun. All right. Well, yes, this is Kuku Khan's pyramid, which is also called Venus, right? It's the pyramid of the sun. And this is the lived where the Kuku Khan's live. All right? So say, Kuku Khan's pyramid. Kukulkan's pyramid. Yes. Yeah, Bella. Bella was amazed. Uh, the Kukulkan live here. They, okay, well, the Mexicans, all right, the Aztecs. Anyway, do you remember? Mexicans now are the Aztecs, okay? So they're, um, they're ancient people are Aztecs, and now they're called the Mexicans. All right, so Kukulkan's pyramid. The yeah? Aztecs are wiped out, and the, now Mexicans are actually Spanish. Mm -hmm. All right, but why do you think, yeah, well, how do you know that the Aztecs were wiped out? So when the Spanish uh, invaded, mm -hmm. uh, so they went to the Aztecs, uh, like, capital, and then wiped out his first his king, and then started to uh, wipe out all the chain, mm -hmm. and so mostly all Aztecs are wiped out. No, not really. The, um, Aztecs are the ancient people. I know, I mean, the, the, the good kind of the mm -hmm. Aztecs. Oh, the bloodline of the Aztecs was erased. So there's no living Aztecs. Of course, all right. That is why, but it's not exactly um, perfectly explained because Mexicans really believe in the history of Kukul Khan, which is their ancient god, well, they're, they're, right? But they're still technically not Aztecs. All right, but why do you say so? Can you prove that, Ben? Because the bloodline was erased. How could any one uh, Aztec be still living on Earth? How do you know? Okay, yes, some um, Amiya can say something about it. This is in the 17th century. If there, a bloodline is erased, like the uh, so the the last uh, the last living are probably right now. Probably that means probably. Any trays? Okay, we will see. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yes, that might be true, but we will see later, okay? We will see if that is true or not. But here, we're going to talk about the Kukulkan's pyramid at the Chuchan Itza. All right, everybody say Chuchan Itza. Go! Chuchan Itza. Yeah, so this is the place called Chuchan Itza in Mexico. All right, and this is where we can find the Kukul Khan's pyramid. All right, now let's move on. What do you see here? Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, it's a circle, yes? Breather? Maya, I'm sorry? Maya ball games. Maya? All right, yes, it's a Mayan ball game, which is the Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. All right, so this is actually an Aztec ancient game, and it's called Maya Ball Game. Everybody say Maya Ball Game. Maya Ball Game. All right, so here, what?
do you think they do? What do you think they do? Here. Do they uh, have like a basketball game here? No. Not really. Like football. Yes, Mia? A football? Yeah, Bella? Why do you say yeah. Yeah. We will see. Like a food. Like a okay. Food. Mayan 
all right? So let's see. They commemorated in honor of Kuku Khan, which is the Quetzalcoatl, all right? And that is very important for them because Kuku Khan or the Quetzalcoatl is very important God. It's a very important God in their history. You got it? Who can tell me? Uh, who can tell your um, classmates that? Yes. Yes, Bella. <laughs> All right. So, what do, what does it mean? History. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you commemorate the history. Let's say, for example, China commemorates um, the one that we just had the. How to say that? The celebration of the, I mean, the memorial of the Chinese people having to fight a war during the field trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we call a commemoration. But you see, we had a field trip to commemorate that, but it's not a celebration. So what I mean with the commemoration and the celebration is just two totally different things. You got it? We, because we commemorate, because we honor them. We honor them. We respect them. Because they are our roots. Yes, Jay? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a commemoration, actually. The May 1 holiday is a commemoration, not just a celebration. Okay, so let's continue. I want you to listen to this. All right? Yes, please open your book. Go to page 59. And listen. Yes, you listen while reading with your own eyes. Listen to the audio carefully. And Unit 6, page 57. Story. somewhere nearer the sea. The Aztecs expected Quetzalcoatl to come back to them by sea. Let's go then. We haven't got much time. <laughs> a, a corn symbol will take me to a cave of gold. Where are we going? We're going to Kukulkan's pyramid at Chichen Itza. It'll take two days to get there. Oh, who's Cuckoo Can Bones? What's the connection with corn? Cuckoo Can's the Maya word for Quetzalcoatl. He was the god who gave them corn, remember? It's his most important temple. It's called the castle. There'll be corn symbols everywhere. And snake symbols. Look, the Pleiades. <gasps> the Mayas thought they looked like an angry snake's tail. Wow, this is where the Mayas played their famous ball game. Yes, and before the game, didn't they have with instruments made of wood and shells. That's right. The arts were very important to the Mayas. There was a special god for the ball game and the arts. Oh, look everyone. Here's a dance for the gods. I can't see any caves of gold anywhere. Oh. Twice a year, you can see the form of a snake on the north stairs. Up the 
the stairs in March and down again in September. Mm. They knew so much about the sun and light. <laughs> bah! Rubbish! When someone does something to make the gods angry, the pyramid sounds like a quetzal bird singing. Bravo! Another boring lesson from Dr. Bones. Next one, okay. 
everywhere. And the snake symbols of blood.
right, number one, who can uh, read number one? Yes? Uh, Johnny? Where are they going to go? I got a book, I got a book warning and I got three cards. 